One, how to convert from logarithmic to exponential. Logarithmic to exponential, as well as um, you know how to solve. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just like the last problem we did, we had to isolate the sine function, right? We had a sine on the left, sine on the right. We had to isolate them. In this problem, we have two logarithms. We can't solve for our x unless we have a unless we have one logarithmic function. So what we learned in this class to be able to um, combine these. What we learned to combine these was to use our properties of logarithms. Remember, when we have this, um, the difference of two logarithmic equations, hey, do you remember what we could write that as? When we have the difference of two logarithms, do you remember? No? Yeah, Kelsey? We can write it in a logarithm form. Yeah, we can write it as the quotient, right? So I can rewrite this as ln of x over 3 equals 2. Right? Subtraction. Okay. So now there's a couple different ways we there's a couple different ways we could go about this. Um, one of the ways we could do is we could either just take the we could either raise each one from a base e, or we could also just convert this to our exponential form. So remember, ln has a base e, right? That's our natural logarithm. We don't write it. We just, we know that ln has the base e. I can rewrite this in my exponential form. E squared equals x over two. Well, now it's in an equation that we can solve for. Three, three. Over 3, sorry. And now to solve for x, I just multiply by 3 on both sides. So therefore, x equals 3 times e squared. Now, in this case, I will need to use a calculator to approximate. So I'm going to borrow um, Jessica's. So therefore, I'll just take my e, raise it to the second power, multiply it by 3. And depending on what the problem is, tell me where to estimate x is approximately 22.117. I'll just raise it to the top there. All right. So give yourself a MAT or H, guys, depending on how far you got with that problem. But please, guys, remember that as we work through